guys, welcome to my channel, Hidden Galaxy. Today we will be covering Pokemon basics and how to build a super cheap Pokemon deck. I've been collecting hundreds and hundreds of Pokemons by the last two years. I got them in gifts, I got them in packs, I even got them in trading. Going to share with you some basics of Pokemon. Also, till now, I have never bought a complete Pokemon deck of 60 cards. I play by building my own deck. Today I will also share with you how I build my deck. Pokemon cards evolve. For instance, Chespin. He's a basic card. Then, Quilladin. He's a stage one card. And then, Chestnut. He's a stage two card. Without Chespin, you can't turn into Quilladin. Without Quilladin, you cannot turn change into Chestnut. There's even an easy way to find out how it evolves. You see that right there? This is the way. It evolves from Chespin, Quilladin. See? This is the maximum amount of Pokemon you can have in your slide. One active Pokemon, which does all the attacking, and five benched Pokemon. The active Pokemon is the only Pokemon who can attack the other opponent's active Pokemon. But the active Pokemon can't hit right away. This Pokemon has 60 HP and HP is not how much they can hit. HP is something that I like their health. In order to hit, these are the two attacks Chespin can make. Wine Whip, will take, which will take 10 out of the opponent's health, and Seed Bomb, which will take 20 out of the opponent's head. Let's look at some energy cards. This is Lightning Energy, Fire Energy, and Leaf Energy. Now let's look at Chespin. He needs a Leaf Energy for his Wine Whip, which does 10 damage. You can use one energy per a turn on any of your Pokemons. I'm going to put this leaf energy on Chespin so he can do a wine whip on the other opponent's Pokemon. For instance, Perline is the opponent's active Pokemon which has health power. I'm going to do my vine whip on Perline and now she only has 40 more. So I will attach the 10 because she got a 10 attack. On my next turn, I can add, I can, I just need one more energy to activate Seed Bomb and stars mean any energy. So I'm going to add this punch energy to it. Now I can do a attack of 20, which will put per line on attack zone. When per line's health goes down, the opponent puts in his discard pile and I win a prize card. Prize cards are six cards that we face down in the beginning of the game. Every time when you attack opponent's card, you, you can take a prize card. But after you collect all six prize cards, you win. You also win if your opponent runs out of cards in his deck. You also win if there is no basic Pokemon in. You can also have more health by adding the evolved Pokemon from the basic Pokemon with the energies. Sometimes when you don't want to get more attacked, you can bring the active Pokemon to bench and the bench Pokemon to active. That is called retreat. In order to retreat, you will need two kinds of any, any energy card and then you can you can perform it also remember if the damage was already there it's gonna stay there now i'm going to tell you how i build my pokemon deck pokemon deck has 60 cards i built mine with 20 pokemon cards 20 trainers and 20 energies as you can see i have energy cards here and all of my other Pokemon cards in alphabetical order. This will make it be easier for the evolution and even for the deck. I decided to put Chestnut in my deck. You know that 
test nut of awesome Quilladin. I took this from the Q-Deck. Quilladin evolves from Chespin. I found him. I took it from the sea deck. Now do you see why I sorted? Also, keep your Pokemon safe. They might be worth a lot after some years. Thank you for watching, friends. Please like and subscribe. Bye!